Winter will end. Well, it has ended. Uh, we should get to 10 later. It's 3 now at 800 CJBQ. And you know, Prince Edward County is a place where lots of things go on. Of course, over the weekend, it was uh, Maple in the county, which is one of the big festivals. But uh, sometimes we overlook some of the smaller things. And not that the Picton Library is a small endeavor. There are lots going, lots of things going on there. And to tell us a little bit more about it is Christine Renault. Hi there, Christine. Hi. How you doing this afternoon? I'm very well, thank you. You're, you're in a nice quiet spot. I know libraries are no longer the, the quiet spots we used to no, think they that's were. Right. There's so much going on, aren't, isn't there? <laughs> that's right, especially at the uh, County of Prince Edward Public Library and Archives. We've got six branches and there's always something happening there mm-hmm. yeah with the county well they spread out so far you, yeah I mean, you we wanna, cover the yeah. whole county mm-hmm. one end to the other <laughs> that's, that's great and of course you've got uh, something that, that kind of sparked my interest you have a, a readathon going on for the month of april and with that a lot of great incentives for for young people to to encourage them to read yeah that's right we're holding um uh, a readathon, and this is in support of the county youth park. We're quite uh, interested in helping county youth and being involved in the community, and we thought this would be a way to support the youth park as, as well as promote reading among teens. And, it, and it's actually the youth working for the youth in a sense, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, yeah. exactly. And it's, it's a simple way that um, they can help raise money for something that is for them. And uh, all they have to do is get a pledge sheet, uh, which these are available at every branch of the library. And uh, then they just need to contact some friends and some family and say, would you give a pledge for every book that I read in the month of April? And, um, and then all of that money will go directly um, to the county youth park. Sounds great. Yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a neat, neat endeavor. At the same time, uh, is there a... Is there a a certain size of book that they, they no they can't, can read. can't be a, a small little manual. <laughs> they can read absolutely everything. It's up to them, and right? Anything, um, and it can be by number of books, or sometimes if they get really ambitious and they have some very large books, they might like to ask for just a flat out donation um, from uh, as a pledge and just say, you know, I promise I'm going to read these five books, and would you give me, you know, a certain amount of money and. Right. Uh, they may read those, and we also encourage, you know, magazine reading and everything else. Um, anything that's in print would would be good, and we kind of hope that they'll come and browse our shelves because mm-hmm. we're always getting uh, new books. And we're going to kind of promote that with a couple of events as well being held at all the branches on April 14th, which is a Tuesday evening. From 6 to 8, we're having a reading fest, which will um, be kind of a little mini reading party come bring some books talk about books and of course we'll have food which is always popular with Mm -hmm. teens snacks and a chance to kind of talk about what they've been reading with each other uh or just hang out and read in in any of the county libraries on um tuesday april 14th from six to eight wow great Mm -hmm. that's that's nice to have that sort of part way through Yes, Some and people that's... might think, gee, I'm reading too many books, or exactly. I haven't read enough, or... <laughs> or I haven't even started. And, or or I've know... got to tell somebody about what I just read. Exactly. <laughs> so on the 14th, they can bring pledges in if they've been uh, collecting them, or they can just come, as you say, midway through and keep reading and sharing ideas and book titles and so forth. Or they may just say, oh, wow, I haven't even started. Maybe I'll go on the 14th and get some ideas. And then um, this will be followed by an end of readathon party on May 2nd, which is a Saturday. And uh, we'll have prizes, and we'll see how much we've raised. And, um, yeah, so mm-hmm. that should be fun. And that, that will be at the Picton branch. So that, that's, that's fun. So, that, so that's going on beginning tomorrow, tomorrow being the 1st of April. <laughs> exactly. I, I suppose a lot of kids have already got the pledge sheets going on. Yeah. Now, is it is it open to people that might be a little older than kids? It's, <laughs> it's could, could, open really to anyone. Anybody? And yeah. we're also encouraging um, even younger, even though it was aimed at teens, we are encouraging younger people right. to get involved. And, you know, if even if they're so young that maybe they'd just like their parents to read to them, the parents could um, get involved and say, see if they could get some pledges and say for every, you know, book I read to my children this month, um, could you make a pledge towards the county youth park? Because, mm-hmm. 
as you know, then those little ones do grow into big ones, That's and right. That's the right. uh, youth park will be for for all of the youth of the county well, it's and a, visitors. Yeah, certainly sounds like a great program. It, it's really we're getting great response. Um, we have posters all over town, and any teen can drop in. They don't have to be a patron even. Um, we welcome them to come by, and they can get more details uh, if they would like at. Um, our website, which is specifically, we have a section of the website specifically for teens at www.countyteens, all one word, dot com. Um, and also our, our regular website, which is uh, p- www.peclibrary.org. All right. So take a look at things there. Mm-hmm. Now, now I, I have to mention this as I ran into, we have an author amongst us here at Absolutely. Footy Broadcasting in Mary Thomas. Yeah. And she was down in the news center, and I was speaking with her, and, of course, she said, you must mention that I'm going to be at the Picton Library tonight at 6.30. I said, well, this will work out really well. She <laughs> is, and it's so funny because when I first heard that, you know, you wanted to speak to us about the youth park, I was thinking, now how can I work that into that? <laughs> how can I give a little plug for, for Mary's visit to us? Uh, As you know, she writes um, a lot of historical historical accounts, mm-hmm. and she has three books, and uh, which works well with the library, and we have a lot of people interested in local history and sure. war history, and so we're really, really looking forward to having her come. To, that's this evening mm-hmm. at 6.30. Yeah, so drop by the library and, and get to talk to Mary Thomas in person. That's right. And she'll tell you about all the council meetings, too, I'm sure. <laughs> she, she covers so much. So. She does. <laughs> Might get does. a little off topic, but <laughs> that's well, all right. It's all about the library, so it we is. appreciate that. That's great. Well, Christine, thanks for joining me this afternoon. Good talking with you. Same here. Thank you for having us. Oh, not at all, and uh, I'm sure we'll be talking again in the not-too-distant future. Okay. Take, thanks a lot, Steve. Take care. Bye now. Bye.